everyone. My name is Peter Lenz. I worked on the Data Concierge Project. This project takes a look at figuring out better ways to access NASA's data. Specifically, the problem that I decided to take a look at is that NASA has a whole bunch of different kinds of data. They have data that spatial data on landslides. We have other data about meteorites. Um, and they're all sitting in silos, and this makes sense. When NASA funds a project, they're handing it off to a research team, and that research team never talks to anybody else, maybe they're in a completely different institution, someone in JPL, someone in a college, it doesn't matter. Everyone's operating in their own silo. But there is a thing that unifies things, and it is in typical government fa fashion, excitedly named Project Open Data Metadata Schema Version 1.1. <laughs> Yay! It is kind of exciting. So. Every government agency that has open data publishes that data in a standard schema. And I can pull down that schema and I can take a look at it. And this actually took the vast majority of the time because I was looking for commonalities. In fact, I sat there and I started drawing out what does this data look like and how does it connect to each other and what things do they all have in common? And the answer is, Everything has a couple of little interesting things. Everything has some kind of metadata keyword, whether those are set by the researchers or something that could be extracted by a TFIDF or some other natural language processing algorithm. There's a temporality aspect to it. There's time. That can be when the data was collected, like when a satellite shot a photograph or when the data was released. And a lot of the data also has a, special, a spatiality T, you'd think as a geographer I could pronounce that word right, um, a spatiality component, and that's got all sorts of different um, complicated problems to it too. It comes in all sorts of things. The data concierge project also requested that there would be um, information about the viewers of the data, the people, and learning about that. So, proof is in the pudding. Da -na 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 -na. So, this is what I built, really quickly, two minutes. Um, this data is a prototype for a way of unifying three different uh, APIs at, at NASA apps. It has a lot more than those. So, for instance, I can say I am a teacher. I, in fact, I'm a science teacher. This has lots and lots of things. I'm interested in text data about meteoroids. There's date and location data, but I don't care about those right now. Um, there could be some kind of standardized API um, that, that pulls this. Let's run it. Run it. The scariest thing in tech, tech, tech is the live demo. We just ran this against one API and pulled text information about meteoroids. Um, maybe I'm interested in pulling ta tabular data about that. So I type in meteoroids. And here are all sorts of different keywords that have been identified by NASA as things that are important. Um, I'm going to say meteor because it's not spelled right, whatever. And I run that against my query. And here is tabular data about it. I'm pulling from a completely different API. Um, maybe I'm interested in 10 Hudson Yards location data. Here I am pulling 10 Hudson whatever. I don't care because I don't have a lot of time. Satellite imagery, clearing this, blah, blah, blah. Searching, and this goes and it pings the NASA Landsat API. And that looks like an image. And in fact, it's, this is doing geolocation. So this is an example of taking things that NASA uses a lot of. They have all sorts of information in all sorts of different APIs, but they have commonalities. This is a project that can be taken into the future. This is something where we can make this real. This is doing really, 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 really bad stuff because I only learned Flask last night. Um, NASA has, the, has lots of APIs. There are like 38,000 files in their data set. And as I walk away, I will mention this is true for all government agencies that have open data. <laughs> You have no idea how true this is for all open data. This is a major government problem. You have to know what data you want to find to find the I, data you want. I am a geographer. I work with NASA data. While looking at this, I found data I had never seen before that I want to play with. OK, I've, I'm going to be quick with my questions so that the other judges can ask. Are you pulling geotiffs out of the Landsat data? Yes, that is running live. Whatever I put in would have come out. OK, um, are, you cap okay. Um, are you capable of scaling to pull out a cloud as government agencies look to push data distribution to the cloud? So all of that data was running on existing APIs. There was no server behind it. That, well, that's not true. There was one server behind it, but it was passing on to all those APIs. It was a polygot 
based off of the information that was coming in, it rendered a, it pulled a URL, sent it to the front end, that you, the page redirected to that URL. If, uh, let's just say NASA, for instance, restructures their metadata requirements, are you capable of handling that dynamically we would have or would to, you have to reprogram? We would have to reprogram um, as it stands now, but this is prototype code. This is not what you would run. This is, this is doo-doo, there's kids. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this would be rewritten. This is just a prototype. Okay. A real thing would be a lot more robust and not written by me. I'm a data guy. You want developers to actually write this. Yeah. Um, I, I'll, I could literally ask questions about this all day. Cause it's and I have two months old, so I'm running with very little sleep. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll defer. I could ask about this all day, but this is awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, this is awesome. Peter, thank you for thank coming. You. <laughs> this is a great project. Um, there was a project last year uh, here, New York Space Tag. Did you uh, hear about that or see that anywhere? I'm afraid that anywhere. I wasn't here last year because I was... One, one thing that I'd love to oh, continue to see uh, you know, happen is see projects build on projects. New York Space Tag last year uh, found, uh, used TFIDF and some other algorithms to find like uh, terms and build a rich metadata for like 16,000 different government publications over the weekend. So you might want to use that data set. A absolutely. I mean, one of the things that I wanted to do was to use fast text to take a look at things. Mm -hmm. If they've already done it, already build done it. stand on the shoulders of giants. I, the best thing about tech is cultivated laziness. I want to not do things as much as possible. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Are you sure you're not a developer? Cultivated laziness is the best thing about tech? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm definitely a data guy. You, you didn't see the code that's running this. There's, there's, there's single letter variables everywhere. And at least one thing called thingy one and thingy two. <laughs> Thank you.